All right, we're here with Colorado Caddy, um, fresh off the seat of this crazy journey that we've, um, a lot of us have kind of talked about and followed and, you know, really here to kind of talk about that and, and, um, and see how, see how it was. Um, and I think, I think the first question that a lot of people are really interested in is like, what? crazy pills do you take uh to come up with an idea like this like how how did that start tell us uh, tell us you know months or years ago or whatever so i mean um i've uh i started riding just electric vehicles um little electric boards personal stuff like that about five and a half years ago um kind of it just part of something of my own recovery while i was riding electric skateboards i did one day I had did 128 miles in eight hours on, on, skateboard? on three electric skateboards. Okay. Um, right. To the point where like I was sitting cross-legged eating my lunch while I was riding down the trail. Um, and I, I loved every minute of it. I was doing distance competitions with the electric skateboards for a while was winning, winning. And then elect electric unicycles got involved. So I kind of stopped doing that. Um, gears fast forward by, we end up getting some Surons. Um, and I couldn't get off my bike. I became, I think what a lot of people, what happens with a lot of people, they either get a bike and can't get off YouTube about them or they can't get off of YouTube about them and then get a bike. <laughs> either way, the two kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, yeah. And so when we got the bikes, we just started watching YouTube video, YouTube video. The first thing that pops up a lot when you're watching Suron videos is A, Suronster, and then B, Mega Ride footage. Mm -hmm. So we started seeing these Mega Rides and... I told my wife, I want to go to a mega ride more than you can imagine. Um, and we would just watch them like they were movies almost. Right. I had a buddy give me a call one day, and he wasn't actually a buddy. Um, he was just a guy I followed on Instagram. Willie Stunts gives me a call. Hey, I'm in Colorado Springs. You have all these reptiles. Can I stop by your house and see the reptiles? Yeah, sure. Come on, because we collect reptiles. We have like 20 different species in our living room. Whoa. Um, huge tanks everything like that snakes so yeah, yeah separate yeah, conversation yeah, yeah whole different uh, conversation yeah. <laughs> but so he comes by he wants to see those and he lives in texas where the mega ride was going to happen okay um asked me hey are you going to be at the mega ride i tell him dude um honestly i don't think i could get a ride down there um but if i could i would ride my bike there you know he kind of joked about it oh dude no one's rode that far impossible hopefully we can figure out a ride right. the minute which is what everybody said, which right? is what everybody said. i mean riding your bike from colorado springs to austin texas seems impossible right yeah and so when that was mortals when that word came up um it kind of rubbed me wrong i don't like being told something's impossible especially when i know it's not regardless this isn't this isn't me leaving from my house to go to the moon. This isn't me wanting to become a doctor in six months. At the end of the day, this is just a bike ride. Um, and so I started looking into it. Okay, so I hopped on Google Maps. Started looking at things. This is completely doable and it's something I want to do. I want to ride 1,055 miles on my bike <laughs> to a mega ride. And it, it transformed into something way bigger than what I had intentionally wanted it to be. Right. I, I just wanted to make it to make a ride and I love being on my bike. So eight, 10 day trip to get to another ride. That's doable. Yeah. That's doable. <laughs> yeah. And so, so it, it just became like a really big planning process. And so right. I set out to do.